Okay, Pisces. Let's hop right into it. Collect the energy of your person. See what's going on in their energy here. This is that Hollywood deck. All right. What's in the energy of Pisces person? Okay, we got the Six of Wands. What's in the energy of Pisces person? We got the Seven of Swords. Mm. Oh, Pisces, this person feel like they can't they can't deceive you with lies. The Hierophant that look like a Sherlock Holmes type of character. Got to be more clever. Got to be smarter than that. This six, this person can't succeed on on you. They can't get nothing over on you with their lies, right? The Hierophant, they got to come correct, right? They can't, they can't mess with that spiritual being like that. There's a protection over you. There's, there's this bubble over you, right? There's this light that protects you, right? And then we have justice, right? Well, I'm going to get this light right. We got justice. One more for Pisces person's energy and the three of pentacles. Hmm. All right, Pisces. So, yeah, I see the six of wands, right? This person want to have some form of success with you or over you, right? They want you to recognize them for something, right? Maybe they, they not being real with themselves. Maybe they trying to put on a show, you know, maybe they trying to put on a show with this seven of swords here. But it's like they can't they can't succeed over you by being deceptive. They're not going to be able to succeed over you by being deceptive because you have a spiritual presence. You have a, a connection to the divine. So you're protected. Right. So this person know that they have to come correct. They have to be honest. They have to, you know, be honest. Right. They're not going to be able to hide with their lies and their tricks. Right. So maybe this person tried you. Right. Three of Pentacles. Right. They got they going to learn how to work with you. Right. So this person about to try to focus on you, Pisces, because they want something with you. But whatever they did, however they came at you, they knew that they that they was some BS and they couldn't. Um you know, come at you with lies. They're not going to be able to manipulate you or deceive you. You're not that type of, they can't get away with that, period. You see through that, right? You see through that. So let's see, what is this seven of swords and Pisces person's energy? Because it's kind of irritating. And it's the two of pentacles. Right? It's this person trying to juggle shit around. Trying to see what they could get away with. Trying to see what type of weaknesses you have. See if you a person who's balanced and stable and able to stick to their guns. Say what they mean. Mean what they say. This person testing you. Right? To see where you at. To see where you weak at. To see where they could get in and manipulate you at. Not saying that's all they want to do. But that is in their energy. It's a part of them. Right? What else come with the seven of swords? And it's the queen of cups. Hmm. Ooh. So this somebody deceitful, right? The seven of swords. I mean, it ain't nowhere around it. So this is somebody who pretends that they care or act like they care, right? Maybe all they want is one thing, a showgirl, a good time, right? But they're not going to be able, that's what they think they can do to you, but that's not what's going to happen because you see through them, right? Right? Let's check on this three of pentacles back here. What is this three of pentacles? Because I feel like this person wants to learn 
They want to learn you. They want to see where your weaknesses are. They want to try to get in. They want to see where they can manipulate. If they get an opportunity to deceive you or manipulate you, I believe that they would. But because you're so divinely protected, it's like they thinking twice about it. So they, they want to figure out a way to work with you, meaning like getting to know you, right? Know who your family is, how you kick it, how people look at you, how people receive you. What's the energy of the room when you come in? I'm talking about this person paying attention to details about you, right? Because I felt the energy of them trying to focus on you, right? So this, this three of pentacles comes with the six of swords, right? So trying to play you and, 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 and manipulate you, they threw in the red flag on that, right? They want they going to move forward peacefully because they want to try to get to know you a little better, Right? Hop on in the car with me. Come on, let's take a ride. Let's talk. Right? So this person, want, they going to try to come. I feel like this is something that's coming towards you. This is what's coming towards you reading. Right? That's what this going to be. Because whoever this person is, they not going to be able to manipulate you. But if they get an opportunity, they will. But because you so divinely protected... They're going to take a different avenue because something in their spirit is telling them not to, you know, come in on you like that. But there's still somebody who can't be trusted because that's in their energy. So let's see what else comes with this three of pentacles. Like why they trying to work with you? Why they want to ride with you? Why they want to talk to you? Why they want to make peace? Why they even want to be in your energy? I want to get to the bottom of it, right? Maybe they see you as some type of opportunist. Maybe they see you as somebody that can help them level up or step up. A level up in some type of way. Right? Maybe this person want to take you to Hollywood. Take you on a trip around the world. They want to do something with you. They want to get you all dolled up. Makeup done. Hair done. Nails done. Everything did. Right? They want you at feeling your best, at your best. This person want to make you real, real comfortable because they really want to get to know who you are and what is that energy that's coming off of you that made them second guess themselves. So it's like you intriguing. You, It's like you a mystery to this person. And it's like this little game or Thing that they got to figure out. It's like they they about to become obsessed with trying to figure you out. Because you stopped them in their tracks just with your presence. Because you see through bullshit and this person is smart enough to recognize that. With the Hierophant, I felt like he was like this person, like some type of Sherlock Holmes type of person. An investigator, a detective, somebody who do their homework. Right? Seven of Swords, an air sign, also a strategic person, a person of intelligence, a person who is quick on their feet and, and use their brain, brain, they can think, right? All right, so let's see, Pisces, let's hop over here to the Six of Wands and see what is it that you see in this person? What is it that Pisces is seeing? Because they want to have success with you. Pisces, you see the King of Cups, Right? Mm, 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 mm. You see the king of cups. You see somebody who understand your, your energy, your power. Right? And they see that you know. It's like an instant chemistry type of thing. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's like an instant chemistry type of thing. There's something intriguing there to you about this person too. Right? But you must understand this person got a seven of swords in their energy. And I ain't saying like that's their whole energy. What I'm saying is I'm concerned about the seven of swords being in your energy because it means you're not all the way 100. If I give you the opportunity to get me, you would get me. So it means I can't be sleeping. I can't be slipping. I can't be slacking. Whenever I'm around you, I'm going to feel like I always got to watch my back or hold my purse or, you know, it just gets uncomfortable, right? But you're dealing with a charmer, right? A, a well 
mannered person, someone who's well dressed and very seductive and nice and uh you know someone who who knows just what to do right so you see them as this type of person right someone who knows what to do you see their energy they see yours so it's like they got to be careful right y'all energies recognized each other for whatever reason and then we got the three of wands. So you interested in moving forward with this person. You interested in going on this trip around the world or wherever to Vegas, to Hollywood, wherever. Y'all might drive. Y'all might get on the ship. You know, you might meet a lot of interesting people wherever you end up. So you kind of see this as an adventure. You kind of see this as an opportunity yourself. Right? And that's how it starts. An opportunist for two, right? Something about that energy connects with you though. But just be careful because I do feel like, and I'm going to keep saying it because I don't want you to forget. I feel like this person, if they had an opportunity to get you, they will. Or they want to use you to gain something out here, right? They want to use you to gain something out of this world. Maybe you're very talented, Maybe you resourceful. Maybe you just know things. Maybe you could do things can't nobody else do. And this person needs somebody like that on their side. Somebody who's balanced. Responsible, but also enjoyable. Fun to be with, right? Somebody who know how to put on the show. Somebody who know how to entertain. That queen of cups, right? Beautiful person. Smart person, right? It's just something about that energy. Let's go to this hierophant. Let's get, let's get to seeing what is it that this person know about you, right? They know you protected judgment, right? I feel like what it is, this seven of swords is, it's like, I feel like them wanting to use you to level up somehow, some way. And you want to use them to level up somehow, some way. Or is this just a situation where y'all can use each other to get where y'all need to be? Because I feel like somebody feels like this is an opportunity and it is a sign, you know, like this is supposed to happen. Because with the hierophant in judgment, it's like know what you're doing, right? Know, know who this person is. Like it's judgment time off the top, right? I... I see somebody got like an Academy Award. It's like, yeah, I made it. I did it. So it's like almost with justice over here, justifiable behavior for the situation on both parties. It, it seems like it's going to work out well. It's going to turn out peaceful. So maybe this person intention was ill. But as they got to know you, that changed. You know, they decided to go straight. You know, they decided to really, you know, be real about it and, and cherish it. Because at first I was feeling negativity off of this person. And I still feel it because I, I mean, do you trust what, what, what it's saying right now? What's that that comes with the uh, Hierophant? And it's the Ace of Swords. So, yes. Trust what it's saying right now. The Ace of Swords. It's, it's the honest truth. Yeah, I am a piece of work person. I'm smart. And I know, I know things. I do magic. Right? I do magic because he always in the suit. He always entertaining. He living that Hollywood life. He's an opportunist, looking for an opportunity. And maybe both of you can just help each other, right? This is what's coming towards some of you, 
right? So yes, it's the truth with the hierophant and judgment. Go from within, whatever you feel. If you feel like this is a part of your destiny, then take your chances. Don't let nothing hold you back. Because this person is, can be conniving, can be manipulative, can be a, a trickster, can be deceitful and disloyal and dishonest. But something about that energy connected between you and them. And whatever they have, you don't. And whatever you have, they don't. So together, even if it's just a shady kind of like partnership. Just for the trip, just for the experience, just to get the opportunity to see if your shit could take off somewhere else in the world. Right? So that's the energy, Pisces. So, so, so they being real. What's crossing that energy here? And it's the Ace of Cups. That's crossing that energy. So this person might actually fall for you along the way. They may actually really fall in love with you along the way. So let's see where the justice comes in at, Pisces. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. Hold on, Pisces. I almost knocked everything down. Let's see what's justifiable over here. What is this justice here? And it's the Queen of Swords. Honesty is the best policy on this one. Don't try to control this. Let the tape play itself out. Honesty is the best policy on this one. And justice will prevail. Be honest and open. Be truthful. Because I feel like that's what this person's going to be in the heart of it. You know, we got the Hierophant, Judgment, and the Ace of Swords. Right? So... Let's see, what, what is this Queen of Swords? What is this Queen of Swords? And it's the Ace of Wands. It's the opportunity. Being honest and truthful, you get that opportunity. Know yourself. Like I said, with judgment, go deep from within. Know yourself. Reflect off of your energy. If you feel it in you, then this is the opportunity of a lifetime to take a trip around the world, to go to Hollywood, to go wherever it is, you uh get an opportunity to pursue something that you're passionate about with somebody who may fall in love with you along the way. So that's what's coming towards you, Pisces. Someone who's looking for an opportunity, but they 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 a shady, dangerous person, but just not with you. So it's it's uh stuff that come with that. You know what I'm saying? It's stuff that really come with that. So you have to be careful. And that's the energy that I'm getting. You really have to be careful with certain stuff. So even though this may seem like a great opportunity and this person, it, they could be doing shady deals behind your back along the way, whether y'all driving, they could, you know, or they could, y'all could stop at a gas station. They might be a thief or whatever. Like you, I just don't know what it is about that seven of swords. I don't feel like it's towards you. I just feel like like the individual has something in them that can be deceitful, that could be dangerous for you, especially if you on the straight and narrow. They might just be have shade in their nature, right? Even though they're an opportunist and they see you as an opportunist and the energies did meet and collide and the vibe is the vibe. It's just like the universe want me to let you know it's something about this person that you're going to have to be careful of. You know, you're going to have to be careful, but be honest and be truthful to yourself. And you're going to win. You're going to get the world out of it. Let's see what's crossing the energy here. And it's the eight of pentacles. Stay focused. Don't never lose your focus. Don't never get caught slipping. Pay attention to the details. Right? Do some recording. Do some recording on your phone when you out and about. Or your trip. You know? Take a camera with you. Whatever. Just never lose focus. Never get caught slipping. Right? Pay attention to every little thing. 
So I hope it resonated, Pisces. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see which chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspiration or quote we can say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, we have the crown chakra, and this one is relevant to meditation and silence. I sit still in meditation regularly, as I know there is power in silence. I seek out stillness during some parts of every day. In the silence, I am open to receive without asking and without expectation. In the silence, I will hear and see the truth. Rest, tranquility, and peace are rejuvenating to my spirit. Miraculous emotional, mental, and physical healings are available when I am open to receive. Meditation and silence is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.